All right, Matt, UFC on ESPN Plus, we're already at number 22. This one's from Sao Paulo, Brazil, this Saturday. And listen, Matt, the first fight on our main card, you've got Marcus Perez taking on Wellington Tormon. And Matt, what can I say? I mean, this is a really evenly matched fight, something that we can really look forward to. And realistically, you can go back in our anthology here on Fight Night Picks and watch our prediction for Carl Roberson, Wellington Tormon, when they fought in Tormon's UFC debut, only 23 years old. And in that fight, yes, we heavily sided with Robertson, but what a surprise exactly. by the Brazilian Tormont. I mean, what did he show to you in that fight? Well, it's just, it's kind of wild when you think, you look at his record of 15 and 3, and you're like, oh, he must be, you know, late 20s, early 30s. No, he's 23, and he already has 18 professional MMA fights, which is crazy. But he's a really good grappler and extremely physically strong. I mean, Carl Robertson, a lot of people know who he is. Phenomenal striker. He's getting better on the ground. But Termon was able to kind of neutralize some of the striking, go for the takedown, get the takedown control on top. So this fight's going to be really interesting because... Although uh, Robeson's not great off his back, Perez and Termon both, they're great on the feet. They're good on the ground. So I really do feel like this fight's going to come down to who has the better wrestling defense and whoever can get on top is more likely to win. And it's very interesting because for Marcus Perez, he's 2-2 two and two so far in the UFC, but he's fought decent competition. Guys like James Bachnevik, guys like um, Eric, Anders. Eric Anders, like you had mentioned. And realistically, his ticket into the UFC was an LFA title fight where he won their middleweight title, a win over Ian Heinish, who we know has really good wrestling. And in that fight it was a first round finish for Perez by arm triangle which you know maybe telling in this fight Matt as far as the odds are concerned or so far what we have out there we're early here on Monday they're fairly close I mean Perez a minus 130 minus 135 favorite you've got Wellington Tourmont plus 110 who do you expect to get the win here, and if so, how? So to me, that win over Ian Heinrich really does say a lot. I know it wasn't in the UFC, and a lot of people probably didn't see it, but you still beat Ian Heinrich only two years ago, and Ian Heinrich is currently in the top 15. So just due to the weight of that win, I feel like Perez is going to get the victory. And Matt, I'm going to side with Tormon here. Yeah. I think he's going to be able to get it done as far as height and reach and all that's concerned. They're both very close in all of those aspects. I think a win for Tormon definitely means a lot oh, more than a win for Marcus Perez at this point. And yes, Perez has fought decent competition so far in his UFC tenure. I just think for Wellington Tormon to be able to, to go to a split against a guy like Carl Roberson that we've seen how good he was. I mean, geez, he just fought last weekend. He was able to get a win over Roman Kopilov. Um, it really speaks volumes. And I think Tormon, if he can get a win... This is a super marketable guy, really young guy that you can build on for the future. And if he gets a win here, it's going to mean a lot. But Matt, you're gonna, not going to want to miss no. our two-minute predictions here for UFC Sao Paulo. Fight Night Picks on YouTube. Let's get into it. 